Gotta st I just felt I have a, an art hug sticker on. Gotta have art hugs. I feel like I'm staring them down tonight. Oh, I got an ad. Oh, I don't know. I'm looking. I don't have the chat up on my iPad. First iPhone. sticker mule. Glitter oh. stickers. I didn't use sticker <laughs> mule, but... <laughs> Okay. Hey, yep. Freckles. Everything's good. We're good. Hey, friends. Happy Wednesday, Friends Day. I'm so glad you're here with me tonight. I'm working on Bailey's pet portrait. Oh, gosh. I forgot the size. 10 by 10. I think I wrote it on the back. 10 by 10 inch cradled wood panel from U.S. Art Supply. If you're curious, there's a link in the video's description. I really like these. I put two coats of clear gesso on it. Um, I'm going to show you Bailey's picture, but before I do that, Emily is here with me tonight. Hello. She does all the heavy lifting behind the scenes. This is Bailey. Is that in frame, Em? Mm-hmm. Is it glary? No. Isn't that sweet? Mm -hmm. So, um, is that Chase? <laughs> That's a chunk. The piece of Chase? Yeah. So, Emily and Chase commissioned this pet portrait from me, or by, for, by, had to have me to do it. It's like a slice of cheese. <laughs> yeah, so um, you guys are definitely coming to work with me, to work with me tonight. We're just going to get closer, and I'll swing around and talk about the colors I'm using. Could you pull your cord closer to you? Yep, and then Freckles, is who, crying. who is cranky, she's president and CEO of my, my full-time art business. She, she's the one who has a say, and she has a lot to say tonight. I thought she was going to sleep because I was, she was in my lap earlier, and... I might see if I can get closer because what's weird is it's really weird. Of course, I do a lot of paintings like this now. I'm off to the side instead of in front of it. And so that can distort things. Oh, here. So I printed out Bailey's photo to scale. And then I scribbled on the back of it with chalk pastel. Paul, Paul Ranson, he does the uh, Bob Ross stuff. I don't know if you can see the chalk pastel on the back of there. I used kind of a gold yellow and then I used a white. Um, he gave me a shout out on his latest video for hmm. the chalk pastel idea. I'm like, oh, well, it wasn't my idea. I got it from somebody else. Wait, I'm going to do this again because last week I did the same issue. Oh, too close to the chair. Yeah, too close. So then I'll just... So I tape it to here and then I just... I, you can see I'm drawing the shapes with a red ballpoint pen. And a lot of times I lay it flat on the table because if you write with a pen upright, it likes to run out of ink. And sometimes I even put in some firm marks... Anything I think I'm going to need to help me find all the pieces and shapes of Bailey. I thought you guys might like to see that. I'm going to set that back there. So I was sent Emily, the, the ex-interior designer. Is that fair? You yeah. used to be an interior designer. <laughs> sent me color swatches of what <laughs> the blue background should be, which I appreciate. <clears throat> Uh, but then but then I'm looking at it backlit on my computer, which will make the blues look a little different. And every device mm -hmm. changes the color. But what I ended up doing is using Prussian blue, which is right there. Do I have it? I'll just assume that's in, in frame, Prussian blue. And then I put out a little phthalo blue, because I thought the Prussian blue was a little too gray. So I put out some phthalo blue, which is right there, and mixed mix the blues together, put a little white in it. I don't think I put, well, there's a little swipe in that black. I don't, I might have put just a pinch of black in it. So that was my top color. And then I made just a darker version. Oh, then I used the black. Yeah, so this was just phthalo blue, Prussian blue, and white. And then I took some of that paint, pulled it over, put a little black in it, made a darker blue for the colors down here. There's going to be a full video. I, I videoed the beginning of this. So with a pet portrait, I don't know if it's so, such a debate anymore, but definitely if it helps you trace it, because it, it gets the proportions right. So you start off, you know, on the right foot, so to speak. Um, I was quite, I mentioned in the full video, I was quite scared to start this one. Um, just because I think in general, pet portraits uh, have a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to get them right. You want them to like it, you know. I want to like it, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But once I got going, so I did, I worked on the harder areas. I don't know if they're done. I don't think that's done. But um, the eyes are close. So then I feel better about them. 
I'll give you a close up here in a minute. So then what colors to use? Well, I decided to go with an unbleached titanium because in this photo, Bailey looks quite light. She's outside. There is another photo. Do you mind if I show the other photo, Pam? I, this one? Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, she's more yellow tan colors. I don't know how it looks on video. But I got this one because it showed me the color of her eye nicely. So Emily sent that one to me. I usually don't do too much stuff for family, do I? <laughs> it's a family job. Yeah, and then I'm, I can just be here looming like that hair is out of place. Yeah, don't yeah. like it, don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> so then I, so I decided to use unbleached titanium as a good, just for color. And then I thought, well, I want some raw sienna because in my reference photo, her eyes look brown, but in the, the last reference photo I showed you, the eyes look a little more um, orangey color. So I thought that would be good. And plus that'll mix with black for a brown and it'll cream out, it'll, it'll, it's nice and creamy. If you add white to it, it looks like that. Um, so titanium white, unbleached titanium, raw sienna, Mars black, Prussian blue. And then I put some cad yellow medium hue out. Where's my cad yellow? I don't know if I'm going to really need it. But I mix it in with just a little bit of raw sienna for to go over the highlight in the eye. And I think that's way overthinking it. Oh, and then my sun's coming from over here, but my sun wants to fall off. Okay, so I don't know. We're going to just kind of try to aim for a little bit of a closer look. How am I doing, Em? Good. Is that like the ear? Oh, I needed to turn around. I was just staring You need at to the... look at look at the... Yeah. Are you looking for the ear? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. No, is it on screen? But that takes a while to change. Oh, okay. So I'm looking at the camera. Oh, right. You can see the... I can do that. I can do that. Oh, yeah, look at the eyes. Now, they might be too glowy. I like the... Gl I love your glowies. Well, you know, they might be too glowy once I get the rest of the fur on. Oh. But if, you know... I can, it's easier to just tone them down with a little glaze of brown or something. And then she's sniffing the air. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you can tell right now, but there's kind of a line here. I need to find something to point with. There's kind of a line here, which then connects to the center of her head and it goes up here. But you can tell that this curves this way, off to the right. And then her nose is kind of pointing off to the right instead of coming this way and straight down. I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe you can see it in the reference photo better. See her sniff in the air. Of course now I, oh yes, I can, I forget that I can. Anyway, just some stuff I'm thinking about. Um, I, you, you literally, if I'm lecturing too much, you guys let me know, <laughs> Emily, or I can't see the chat tonight. <laughs> I literally find the shape. So in this case, like the little shape of the black crease and comma of the nose, you know, the shape of the dark part of her eye. And then you can refine it. You know, here, this shadow shape, there's one that you can see pretty well. And I'll vary the color in it sometimes. And I, I, then I decide to put some white on it just to see how white I can go and then what I can work up to for the highlights. Cause Bailey's fairly soft lit in this photo, mm -hmm. but she does have a nice little white pop there. So I think I might, I'm just going to emphasize it in a few more places. Hmm. <clears throat> all right, those, those are all the thoughts I'm thinking. I'm, oh, and brushes, I always forget brushes. <laughs> so for the detail, especially when I was nervous and just starting, I used a number two round from Princeton. Just a little, I don't know, here, oh here, I keep forgetting I can lean back and see. Just another little one, just for control for the eyes and everything. And then I've also used a quarter inch brush from Royal and Langnickel. It's, it's worn off, it's getting quite worn. worn. It's just a little flat brush. And then a half inch flat brush from Royal and, oh, yeah, Royal and Langnickel, it's their Zen line. So I will use this one more for the fur, bigger parts of the fur. I think that pretty much sets it. I put a little, oh, I had a little quinacridone magenta out. 
because she has a little pink in her ear. So I put a little pink here, which I might paint out, but it'll remind me. Mm -hmm. And I actually put a little pink there, but you don't even see it. And there's a little pink there. Okay, I, I, I promise I'm done okay. setting the table. That was a big table. That was a big table. Okay, so let's <laughs> see. So far, um, in the chat tonight, we have Gravy, Cindy, Deborah, Chase is already here. Hey, Chase, man. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Cindy, Suzanne, Leanne, and I think that's it. Hopefully I didn't miss anybody. I gotta figure out where. Well, hey everybody! I should say hi. <laughs> I need to get back into this. I didn't work on it yesterday or today, so I kind of need to get back in the zone. Maybe I'll start with a bigger area because I think you can see almost. You know, the nice thing is I could actually move this before Emily could even hop up and adjust it. Yeah. Do you want me to scoochy? Uh -uh, I'm just seeing what's in. I think I'll just I'll work up here. Just to kind of warm up and get back into the painting. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, oh, it's too soon. I was going to ask Chase, does he like how light Bailey looks? Not that I can do a ton of adjustments in the reference photo. We'll wait, wait for his see, reply. See what he eagerly. says. He did send his 999 and his goat emoji. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I super appreciate it. If he doesn't reply, it's okay. Okay. Um, well, and I, I send him the progress photos too, so I can ask him as well. But um, to catch up with the chat, Gravy says, um, I'm home now and doing good. Just need to stay away from flying creatures. LOL. I can't duck or dodge without hurting myself. Ooh. <laughs> uh, rolling on the floor laughing out loud. Yeah, be careful. No. Um, what's the dodgeball? If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Hopefully, oh. you know wrenches come flying your way either. <laughs> I didn't know where she was going. <laughs> yeah, take care, Gravy. Yeah, I'm glad you're home. That's it. Always feels better to be home oh, rather than yeah. elsewhere, especially if you don't feel good. Yeah, and you're recovering. All the above. Let's see what it else. Is. I know there's more to catch up on. So I'm just trying to. Maybe we'll just take some of this color. I mix some bigger puddles. I could even mix bigger because I've got fans going. Try and keep them. Keep them working. I forgot where I was going. Oh, maybe here, but I think that's going to be too dark. Oh, uh, Gravy asks, um, do you turn down a painting or just self-interpret when you're given a poor quality reference photo? I turn them down. Mm -hmm. I had to. I'm grumpy about it. Go and ahead, I can, I, it's not. You weren't grumpy, but I can attest because you're like, that angle isn't going to paint good. That angle. And I'm like, but this looks like Bailey. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't my favorite one of her. I know. But, but the that, other one didn't look like Bailey. But yeah, I'm not, I, I, I mean, you do, I, I do turn a lot. I, I don't do many pet portraits anymore because it's really hard to get a good photo. Mm -hmm. And they're like, well, work your magic. I'm like, I didn't work magic on any of them. I looked at the reference photo and painted them. You mm -hmm. know, made them made look a little artier or pumped mm -hmm. up the color a little bit. Or, so I'm, I'm painting pretty much a blue, gray, brownish. Because the brown w was looking, it's kind of a complement to the blue, so it was looking more orange. Mm -hmm. So color is definitely relative. Um, and it's hard because, you know, they want to send you 50 photos to help you, which is so nice. But it really doesn't help you, and you've got to sort through them all. Mm -hmm. So I, on my website, it just says I paint from one reference photo, even though, like with Emily, I've got two. One for the eye color and one. Well, and I asked for, I, I only was going to send you one, and then you were asking about her eyes. So I was like, well, do you want another? <laughs> yeah, you knew you'd be in trouble, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to do that. Because it is, like, you know, I have photos of her where she's, like, in an unlit room, and, like, the blinds are down. So she, like, her face looks super dark. Or, you know, you can't even, like, her eyes look black, and you can't even tell. Chase says, it looks good. Oh, thanks, Chase. I was just wondering, um, I assume this, if she ends up looking this light, it's, if he's still there, mm -hmm. that's okay. Mm -hmm. Do a little business with everybody hanging out with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, a lot of times when you hang out with me on Wednesdays, it's, even if it's a traceable, I'm still going to sell it. You're, I'm still, mm -hmm. you guys are still coming to work with me, which I like a lot. I hope you guys like it too. Yeah, um, I try to say one photo. No promises, you know, half down for me to start. 
I always say twice as long as I think it'll take me. Because sometimes life happens or... Like, like if I'm scared, I was going super slow on these parts. You know, I just... And I'll go slow to find the shapes. I'm kind of going slow now because I'm talking too, but mm -hmm. just to find shapes and... Slow is better than rushing through it and then being ultra frustrated. Or whatever works for you. Some people... Slow drives them so crazy they can't do it. I'm just going to take some white and some unbleached titanium. Um, if you don't have unbleached titanium, I think um, it's been a while since I've mixed it. Like a, p a bunch of white, a pinch of burnt umber, and maybe a little bit of yellow. I think it's on the warm side. I mixed, I mixed one not too long, but I can't remember what the combo was. Unless you have a different opinion, Emma, about... Uh, no, I don't have an opinion. All right. I was looking at Freckle. She's curled up by the... Oh. Oh. She's so curled. I wonder if she's cold. I've got all the fans going. Oh, that's way too light. That's scaring me. Because that's going to be in shadow, sort of. And it's still way too light. Let's, um... If we thin it out, it's going to darken up. So most people um, use the top thing on an easel. Here, I'll get it down here to hold it in place, and I never do. But then sometimes my easel, like, like it's on the edge, and it also yeah. jerks down and back on me while I'm painting. Mm. Um, I don't. I just don't ever use that. I probably should. Meh. That's what it's for. Mm-hmm. So I'm making all that noise. Okay, that color's way too... Maybe. Maybe. Because that was looking too orange when I put it on before. Maybe it's good for there. That's still too bright. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. And maybe it isn't, but I'm, I just would rather go a little too dark. Yeah, that will add depth, too, if you just have to do your hot pops over it, you know? Yeah, and I'm wondering if that's too orange for her now. Mm. I can fix it. I think she's called, like, she's, um, oh, uh, let me look up her, because there's different types of her, like, different, col you know, like, how there's different colored corgis or different colored labs. Whatever. There's yeah. different colored. Well, when I look at the... Of course, a photo might... My photo might not be accurate. Oh, she's kind of orangey, but not yeah, that Yeah, she's, she's not that orangey. Kind of like... A, like In a way, like the yellow, a yellow lab is, you know? It just depends on what... Like, she looks very blonde in the... Both, even both those photos sometimes. I put a little yellow in that color. If I don't get it right, what's kind of nice is, um, I need to go back to my, oh, I kind of painted out my shadow. <laughs> I can go over it with like some white, just kind of glaze it or have some mixing white. Yes, yeah, she's referred to as yellow. Okay, so I should if probably she's... stay away from the, I should probably do more yellow than the raw sienna. Oh. I mean, as long as it's not coming off as, like there's. Well, it ends up looking orange because of the blue. Mm-hmm. Whereas on here, it doesn't look as orange. Well, mm -hmm. maybe it does. Maybe it does. Am I cutting you off, honey? No. I'll get there. I'm frustrated, but we'll, we'll get there. I'll get there. Mm -hmm. Oops, now I got a cat here. Uh, Gravy says, I'm always scared of the backgrounds. Should I stick with a solid complementary color? The photos are usually an average messy bedroom or crowded space yeah. uh love the blue i chose the blue so that's how you yeah. did why you did blue or chase or we is chose in the, the background blue. yeah chase is in the background <laughs> um slice yeah a lot of times with a pet portrait i don't get to choose the background color mm -hmm. i have some samples on my website so they kind of know at least i do solid color or i do color like this um but so they can kind of see what i do but yeah, I rarely pick the background color for a pet portrait. And sometimes I, Emily, I can't remember. Gosh, it's been at least a year since I painted a pet portrait. Mm -hmm. um, but I always complain about what they want. Mm -hmm. 
which isn't nice, but it's just like, oh, I would not do that, you know? Yeah, it's, well, because... But it's not for me. Well, and I was trying to, or knowing, because you are right, like, some people do send photos or whatever, and then that's the photo they want painted, and it doesn't, it looks very different painted and not with, like, them sitting on the floor, you know? Oh, the corgi on the ball looking yes. way up and... Yeah, like, they don't always... So I completely understand your, like, that's not going to work quite right or whatever. Um, so I was trying to be... It was hard because I'm like, okay, I understand both sides of this fence. When I'm like, but this one looks like Bailey. And well, you're like, but this one's easier to paint. And this one will probably turn out better. Actually, I don't think that... Of course, I don't... I need to get the snout on there. I'm still not liking that color. I wonder if I should just quit and come back to it, let it dry. Maybe we'll come on... Maybe come on top of it with some on blue titanium. Mm -hmm. um, oh, there we go. Still too bright. Yeah, but I like the juicy, you know? Yeah, oh, I know. Just That's like her eyes technically aren't, nine, time, nine times out of ten aren't that juicy, but it's still, like, that's, I'm like, oh, those are Baileys. Well, right now I'm trying to get things close so I can refine. If I don't, I don't, but that's why I'm complaining about the brightness. Hmm. Tinker says, um, Tinker had said hi a little earlier, but, um, and she said, can't stick around, but wanted to s pop in just to show support. That's so sweet. Hey, Thank Tinker. you. Tinker. I can't imagine, I can't believe she comes with how young all of her kids are and how, you know, she has yeah, quite a few. picture you as however busy, Jack and I were at least five years apart, but picture how busy that you helped. were when we were young and then multiply that times a billion for Tinker. <laughs> She's more, Bailey's more orange in here. Or rust, whatever color you want to call it. So brush stroke direction definitely helps you. I assumed we, I probably over answered Gravy's question. Hmm. Over is always better than under. Yeah, but if not, let me know. Mm -hmm. Say something in the, oops. So I'm just trying to grab a little dark brown. I don't see I don't like any of this but it'll come together you just kind of have to I don't know I, I literally tell myself just keep going <laughs> mm -hmm. maybe if I do so I'm just kind of got a messy puddle going here and probably not enough you're deep in the puzzle the woods of the puzzle <laughs> yeah well and I didn't want to work on the harder parts and try to talk live. I'm just mm -hmm. like, that's gonna make that's gonna make my head hurt. And you're painting the side. Yeah, off camera. No, you're fine. If you, I mean, it's so really I'm, fine. I can all just I'm narrate. Thinking is, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need more paint. Yeah, I think that actually might be okay, or I can I can adjust, cool it down. I like it. Yeah. I feel like it's too warm for in the shadow. I don't know. I mean, once once it's less blue, you, when the blue's not like poking through so aggressively, it might change color too. You know? Uh huh. Yeah, it actually, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but if you let it be thin, it almost looks a little green when your mm -hmm. your brain optically mixes. <laughs> so I'm putting a little blue in my unbleached titanium. I'm going to mix. I'm going to dirty it up with a little bit of my Prussian blue. So this is Prussian blue with a little bit of black in it, and that's straight up Prussian blue. I don't know if they look any different on camera. And then I put a little this even muddier blue, just a pinch, into some unbleached titanium. I think that might. Sometimes I get it right, like right off the bat, and sometimes it takes me. Especially when I haven't painted for a little bit on it, then I have to kind of get back into the groove. Mm -hmm. I also think it's better to take a break because I'm like, oh, I like this better than I did a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. I sort of detach from it. All right, let's try this. I've been hearing we have cicadas here. I don't know if you guys know what those are. 
But they've been wee, singing in the trees. <clears throat> what was that, him? Just <clears throat> that wee, wee. Oh. <laughs> is like constant. <laughs> I'm adding a little more blue. But I feel like they've been, like last year, I think they were late. I feel like they were late again this year. You think? Yeah. Uh, they used to be like August, I thought. But maybe I'm wrong. I've. Maybe it's your neighborhood, because I've already heard them. Oh, it's not, they, well, one was oh, like Oh, I've heard them for a while. Oh, okay. But, I mean, it's September. You know? Mm-hmm. I, I, I picture, you know, mid to late summer. Mm-hmm. And maybe I'm just wrong. I could I can't Google it right now. Oh, but, yeah, but they've been, like, almost yelling. Yeah, there was, like, because usually it's like the, you know, it sounds like a sign, like a wee, wee. I, there was one that was just, like, I don't know if it was dying or being attacked. I don't know. It was probably being attacked. Yeah, but it was, like, <laughs> an alarm, just, like, a solid sound. Okay, wait, let's see. Um, months? What do I do? Months that cicadas are alive? I don't know. Active. That's a good word. Oh, wait. I should do in Nebraska, shouldn't I? Probably. Because there was a wide... July to September. Okay. So, like, I, I always... Because I look from when I go walking. Mm-hmm. And I was barely seeing any. Because I used to grab them for Jack. Do you remember I used to grab the, the shells? shells. Ugh. As they're going through their st- stages and shedding. I, I couldn't even look in that. Like, Jack had a box of them. A li- like, a little... I think that's still in the other room. Is it? I, I bet so. they're all, like, dust. Oh, yeah, they might be dust and powder by now. Um, I couldn't even, like, like, Jack would chase me around with that box. Like, I couldn't even look in that box. It grossed me out so much. Don't, I think I did it when I, one of my chalk videos, when I was doing more chalk videos during the pandemic, I think I had a, you did. a handful of cicadas you I did. stuck to my pants. Yeah. The it was shells. just shells. The shells. Uh, Gravy said, or asks, uh, Annie, do you have a video on how you have things set up minus the phone being where it is during filming? I need a new arm to hold my phone. It's too floppy. I don't know. No, No, because I don't have any other way to video. So it's my phone or nothing. Um, well, maybe I could hand do it. I bet I can find the arm. We got it on Amazon. Yeah, there's one right over here. Well, I was thinking, like, the link to the arm. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Do you know when you got the second one? No. Okay. I'll just dig. Here. So I have it in the same kind of arm as I have right... Here's the head of it. And then I just have it going down and hooking onto my art table. Oh, actually hooking onto a side table. Oh, I can hear Freckle crying in the... Yeah. Hi. If that helps. So I'm using... I have two of them. So the, now I'm going to put my phone back in the same type of arm. Hi. Sorry about the wiggle for those who... <laughs> um, I, they weren't very expensive. They just seemed like they'd work. I, I like them. They're stiff. You know, after a while, I've noticed sometimes during a live, depending on how many bends we have in it, um, it'll start to sink down from the weight of the phone. Is Freckles helping you? Well, yeah, I'm just getting, like, Freckle inception because, like, she's meowing later oh. in the past in my headphones with listening to the live, and then she's meowing in the present. Yeah, that is weird. I'm glad that's your job and not mine. That would drive me a little crazy. I decided, I don't know if this is right, but I just decided that it's grayer and in shadow for now. And I'm kind of painting out some of my shadow that I had there. But, and it's kind of thin, but that's okay. I'm just gonna work. I sneak up, just like I sneak up on my, my highlights. Oh, I don't know if that was in frame, my highlights. Um, I sneak up on what I wanna have happen with the fur. And that, since this is sh- such short fur, I get excited and I get ahead of myself. Such um, short fur? Yeah. Um, just brush stroke direction and don't make them too long. All you need to focus on. And sometimes I'll go the wrong way to help shape the pet. Because I could go this way, but didn't just kind of come back with some first strokes. So I'm just scrubbing on thin paint. And it also helps me relax and warm up a little bit. 
that would happen even if you guys weren't here. It just takes me a while to get into it. Kind of like we used to, I used to play basketball. We used to do drills and layups before a game. Same kind of thing. Oh, I don't know if that's on camera. I'm just painting underneath it. I usually have a piece of paper down here just because I don't care if this gets dirty, but then it'll stick to the paint that builds up here. I could peel it off. I can just throw the paper out and or sometimes I'll take a a tool. I think those are nice as a little jewelry tool. That's not the best example because it stays open. Oh, that one stays open too. And I'll just set something up there just to get it up off the easel. I'm kind of weird about that. There, that makes me feel a little better. It's, I want it to go lighter here though. Right here. So she's actually, this is like the top of her leg, I think. I'm going to zoom in. So that's what I love about an iPad. It can be a little hard because it's backlit. I'm painting from a backlit image to a solid image, frontlit, if that's correct terms. Ah. Emily found it, I think. I did. Her fur actually kind of goes this way a little bit right here. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars? Mm-hmm. Or fifteen ninety nine. I always, I always... You round down. I do. That 90, well, that's why they do wait. That that's 99 gets it. me. That 99 gets me every time. Oh, I'm going to cut, I'm going to paste it as Anne because I realized I was on your computer. Well, they'll just think I'm doing magic. Yeah. Let's see here. Oops. So this shadow isn't that dark, but it at least tells me where it is. Just see if I can scrape up any of that. It's a little bit like, um, I guess all my paintings are like this. Like if you color with crayons, mm -hmm. um, and you kind of build up the layers and blend it and the wax and, mm -hmm. or color pencil, kind of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, I'm just going to see, oh, that might be super close. I need to get it in front of me so I can get the, I'm just, well, I have that color and it's not super dried out. I'm just going to bring the leg down. I have a freckle. You have a freckle? Mm -hmm. Sorry if that's really weird. Oh, it's 6.33. Oh, is it? Okay. I got distracted. It took me a while to kind of start warming up and painting. I had lots to say. Now, I could dry that with a hair dryer, which would also keep it from getting paint on my easel. I'm just going to set it down. All right, we'll stop a second. I don't, I don't know that there's a terribly good stopping point. Um, I had someone just recently ask me on YouTube for more step-by-step -step videos, which I don't have a ton of them. They tend mm -hmm. to be lives that are smaller, simpler paintings. Um, because hers, she thought if she had every step, then hers would look more finished. And I'm not sure. I, it probably would help. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I also think it's kind of like they might stop here when they need a couple more coats mm -hmm. or something. Do you know what I mean? I'm I guess, not totally sure because I'm not t teaching and everybody's different. I don't yeah. know exactly what she's doing. Or even if it's a she. I don't know what that person's doing. I... I guess if someone literally did like a brush stroke when you did a brush stroke kind of thing, they would be forced into doing as many layers and whatever as you do. That'd be so hard though, too. I know. You'd have to like, you, could, you wouldn't be able to like keep watch up. paint, mm -hmm. even if it was step by step. Yeah. Well, I suggested um, some of my traceable, some other videos, and then I suggested the Art Sherpa because she has, you know, She'll do step by step and like chapters and mm -hmm. or I, don't, I don't know what she calls it. I think she calls it chapters. But I felt kind of bad. I'm like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to take a second and thank Lansdale, Pennsylvania. They bought a framed and matted print of the, the Queen Anne's lace. That's the most recent oh. video I did with the yellows. It looked really neat. They cropped it 
horizontal and then with the frame and the matting it looked really pretty um it's i have a an individual site through fine art america so it's ann tropixelscom which is a crappy web address it's not even annie it's ann because <laughs> it's i set up a long time ago there's a link in my videos description if you're interested or just want to go look um, and I want to thank Carrie Ann C for sending money through PayPal. Super appreciate it. Uh, Lynn V, as in Victor, I mean, that's not her last name, also sent money in through PayPal. She's going to, I think she, that's the one that's going to paint sunflowers with her seniors. She, she does arts and crafts and creative things with mm -hmm. a senior group mm -hmm. wherever she lives. And then I want to thank you guys who are taking the time to when you have stuff in your Amazon cart and then you go to my Amazon link, which is in oh, three-fourths of my videos, descriptions, any of the newer ones, and then use that link. We make a few cents um, on your purchase. Your price stays the same, but every little bit helps. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, my besties. I really appreciate the support. <laughs> a drink after that yeah no. <laughs> it sounds like a drink of booze I have a drink of water okay oh and I think I hit my painting right there I can see where I've got a little something something going on there Let's see. so I'm just I can't so one thing too it's like I would prefer in a reference photo Emily and Chase uh -huh. that the animal isn't cut off so I could see what's going on. You know what? She's hard to get to sit down. <laughs> it was, that was a difficult... I had to hold a blueberry, like, bee... It was like, kind of like a... Not a bee scoff, like a... Yeah, maybe a biscotti. Kind of like blueberry cookie thing behind the camera. Or behind wherever for her oh, to... that's what she's sniffing. Probably, yeah. That's what she's sniffing. That's but otherwise cute. she does not sit. She is not a sitter. And if she's sitting, she's laying down, so then... But to get like that, like, you know, sit down stoic ish. It's hard to get good photos. It's, it's hard to get, like, I don't have any good photos okay. of freckles. Oh, if you have any, I'm going to need one. Okay. I said okay, and I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention to what you were saying. A photo of freckles. A photo of freckles. Okay. Okay. Is this the right length now? So I don't like that. I'm going from one extreme to the other a little too fast maybe it's okay and I'm just being too picky okay. I might just be being too picky so the other thing that happens too is the camera will distort her face is is good I didn't know I don't know I've only seen Bailey once barely in a car I could barely see her mm -hmm. um, but her face doesn't seem too distorted but another thing that happens and I just paint it like the photo is but this leg is, I think, even compared to that leg, I don't, let me see, can you guys see it? Yep. That leg is so much fatter up here than that one because the camera does, um, distorts the distance and the perspective, especially when you're close. Mm -hmm. I just paint it like it is. It won't, it won't throw anybody. I don't try to fix that. I don't really don't try to fix it. I won't, I did try to straighten her nose by, in Photoshop, but I couldn't get it. So I just, like, it's going to be that way. Perf. And it's cute. It's cute. It sounds like I'm complaining. No, I'm, just, I, I'm still kind of thinking about Gravy's question. Um, Gravy asks, during the live, is it over your shoulder? Um, are you zoomed in at all? I'm seriously thinking about giving you some flattery and copying what you do and starting my own video playlist of me painting. So my phone is just in front of my left shoulder. It's just to the left mm -hmm. of my left shoulder three inches in. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a microphone plugged into it, or two microphones. We have a splitter, one for me, one for Emily, and they're just wired, long wires. Here's the wire. <laughs> um, so it's usually to my left, and I try to get it a more centered, but it isn't tonight. Um, it is a foot, a little over <laughs> a foot. Mm -hmm from the from my canvas mm -hmm. and I am so I'm painting off to the side which I don't recommend but you guys can't see me um, I would recommend me being more straight on then my face my chin would be right over my phone 
It's the arm I showed you before where it's looking down on the tabletop is much easier. Because then I can see things straight on or I can hold them up. And mm -hmm. um, this, this, when I do bigger paintings or do upright, it's a little more awkward with my phone. Yeah, yeah. The smaller ones are always the overhead on the tabletop. Yeah. Um, and then these, like, probably like a 10, a 10 by 10 or an 8 by 8 and up, it's always the angle from yeah, 10 by 10 in your shoulder. Yeah. I don't, did that make sense? It's, it's yeah. very close quarters. Like, I will probably bump the phone tonight. And not zoomed in at all, because if you're doing a live, at least live, we can't zoom in. Like, YouTube doesn't let you zoom in for a live. On the phone. On the phone, correct. If you use your phone. Yeah. I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max, is that what it is? I think so. I think so, too. I appreciate the questions, mm -hmm. um, and I don't. I, we're still. We're definitely still learning. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. What's nice is the phone. I mean, it's just. I don't have to have camera equipment. We don't have to get it. How to figure it out with a laptop? We can't use Streamyard, which is a bummer. Yeah. Because that would hold the stream open if we buffer or lose it, like we've done a couple times. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, it's just my phone. You know, sometimes when I use the, this is the better camera. If I use the other side, like if I'm doing a selfie and looking at myself and I can see myself videoing, the camera isn't as good, but it's good enough. You know, I don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we didn't, the older videos, we just, I just talked. It sounds a little tin canny. Um, I don't remember when I bought the wired microphones. Now I've purchased a few because they weren't working or, mm -hmm. you know, I like the wired because what if it doesn't sync with my phone or it unsyncs or is that the right word? Yeah. Disconnects. Mm -hmm. Oops. Kind of went, went a little low tech just to make sure it works most of the time. So uh, oh. I, I, no, I was just going to say, I'm painting over the same area because I'm not finding the right shape. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, um, Marty just popped in and she said, I was late again. My granddaughter-in-law came by to visit. That's so fun. Um, this painting reminds me of my dog. Love it. Oh. Yeah, this, uh, me and Chase are, have commissioned this pet portrait for somebody. And you, we think Bailey is a black mouth cur? Yeah. I mean, she came from the pound or like the main society or whatever so is she only that we don't know but i mean like if you google a black a yellow black mouth cur that's she looks exactly like that except for her ears are foldy a lot of them are oh are they okay mm -hmm. you just get sometimes the better photo when you google yeah yeah you'll get like the perfect like you know like when you do a doodle of a dog kind of pitched ear but i feel like most of them and I have photos of her ears like that, but they mostly sit like that, you know, however they are. Right. Oh, I don't mind, other than it just took longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because all the crinkles in her yeah. ears. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's an ear. Mm -hmm. And it yeah. might not be done, but it's close. Oh, I forget that I can lean back to see if I'm in frame. Oh. I am we I am better at videoing and talking and all that stuff, but it just doesn't feel like it, you know. <laughs> but we've been we're in our third year, I think. Cause I, I go back and look, you know, look Yeah, and, I think so. Yeah. I mean I think I've been on YouTube since two thousand and nine, but I was just I just had an account and I was just watching things, you know. Mm-hmm. And then Emily talked me into like, some of them have really long ears. I Googled them. Or a lot longer ears than her. Oh, I heard years. Ears. Yeah, no, that's just me. I gotta quit messing with that. I'm not making it any better. She's <laughs> Here, I'll show you. So, I don't know if you can even see that, because I was probably painting too low. And then I'll show you what I'm looking at. Here, maybe if I 
if I flatten my iPad, that'll be better. So right here, she's got like a little poof out of her. She does. I like. To but it's got to be pretty much her shoulder is in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. But there's a board. <laughs> Maybe it's not funny. It, the joke isn't funny every time. I know. Do you yeah. hate this picture? Do you hate this picture? <laughs> oh, I don't hate it. No, I, know. I just, you know. I know. Like things make me a little. It makes it difficult. Better. Yeah, this is too dark. But at least I prefer that. Over too light. Mm -hmm. It's a nice... Because I can put another layer on. Base. Yeah. Yeah, that weird, like, tuft of fur thing is, like, where her, like, like that clavicle bone or whatever mm -hmm. is. And yeah, she's got anatomy going on in there. Mm-hmm. That's what's so nice about a reference photo. I don't have to guess. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what to do. Oops. I'm trying to just... That's how it sits on her. Yeah, you're doing it. Yeah, I'm just trying to suggest it. Maybe even mm -hmm. lose it. Yeah. And that still might be too... But it's got the parts. So I want to make sure I don't lose the parts and the... I'm going to come back and put in... So I dip my brush in water and I just thin it out. What's nice about a background like this is probably... It's two um, thin coats of clear gesso and then... Oh, a decent amount of paint because I'll I'll put the white on, I'll put the blue on, I'll get a little water, and I just kind of go back and forth and work it. So a good solid layer of paint. So then if I put a little thin layer on, it's gonna stick. Mm -hmm. It's gonna stick anyway, but it just it's gonna be totally fine. And then like that scares me, so then I always rub because I don't want it that dark. I finger paint quite a bit. Oops, that really scared me. See, now that's too strong. <laughs> I laugh, because you can really go kind of nuts. That's when I tell myself to work other areas, too. Yeah, I don't, I still don't like that. It's too warm. Maybe. I closed all my rings. Just sitting down. <laughs> oh, I'm like, what? <laughs> my my watch told me I closed out my rings, and I'm just sitting down. Maybe it's because you're moving your arms around. I think you're... Yeah. I think I'm doing things. Sometimes I just can't see the color. I don't know. I don't mind the warm. Oh, I, I just... I do. That's too blue. <laughs> I found that too with the mount when I was painting this. Mm -hmm. I was just uh, adding white to black for a gray, mm -hmm. and it was looking brown. And I kept look, looking at my palette. Oh no! Yeah. Going, oh, that's gray. And then I put on here. I'm just like, what? And so then I put a little blue in it, and it started looking gray. I'm like, oh, it's mm -hmm. it's the background color. It's, and it's a probably a warmer gray. Yeah, it's a warmer gray, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, what? I think it would help if I mix my color a little better there. So I'm sort of glazing when I thin it out so much. I grab a little water. Mm -hmm. Or when I smear it with my finger. I don't know if they technically call it glazing, but... I, st I think I need to leave it alone and move on. Because I just am not happy with it. And then I might come back tomorrow and go, it's fine. And then I'm going to do this, and it's going to be too blue. I can—I already know it. It's already popping into my head. Hmm. Huh. You guys. Fix it for me. I think it might be better than I think, and it yeah, might just I be... Yeah, I like... Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah, might yeah, just yeah. be... Um, because it's too patchy yet, and I just need mm -hmm. to get in the shapes. Yep. But that, like, shelf of hair... That's working it. pretty well. yes. And it's actually letting some of the background come through, yeah, which I like. I like that. The shelf of hair is It is. It's kind of like she has like this roll or like a little shelf right where her shoulder do. blade kind of is. I don't know mm. what it is. 
Well, and there, I think her chest bone, mm -hmm. that's her chest bone sticking out because she's sitting. Mm-hmm. You know, or breastbone maybe is the right. I'm not up on anatomy for dogs. I do like painting animals. I, I don't know if it sounds like it tonight, but I really do. What? I like painting animals. Oh. I, I was how. listening to us in the live. Because I, like, I hear us twice or whatever, so I was listening to it. I wasn't paying attention to you anymore. Oh, no, I just was chatting with the group. Yeah, I like watching this one because I have a personal investment. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but this yeah, one's fun for me. Usually I do pet portrait and the, the client is not over my shoulder or yeah. behind my back. This one's fun for me. I like this one. Sometimes a couple little hairs can help too. This mm -hmm. way, those are too long. She's shorter hair than that. That's gonna be too light. Yeah, I hate this less. I just need to move on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she'll all, it'll all come together once it's. Oh. Oh yeah. If I've got if I've got the nose good, the eyes good, mm -hmm. and the ears good, I'm not I'm not scared anymore. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean I'm not the perfectionist in me isn't isn't chatting in my head. Yeah, that's her curly ear for sure. So, yeah, I could I, I think I noticed the other day I could change the shape a little bit. Mm -hmm. I missed a couple little shapes. Oh, right here it needs a little peak. I didn't even see it. Yeah, I mean, that's something I'm, I'm I probably have to fix now because I pointed it out to you. No, probably wouldn't have had to fix. Um, you still don't. I don't yeah. know every curve of her ear, you know. Yeah, oh, I start seeing every little. Yeah. Every little groove. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's how it. Uh huh. I, this is too dark and that bugs me. Where was I going? Oh, right here? I forgot where I was going. I think it was right there. But maybe if I get more. Oh, now it's not coming off my brush. <laughs> well, there it kind of is. Maybe I'll just stamp it. Artist problems. Oh, goodness gracious. I don't recommend painting with fans going, but <laughs> it keeps it cooler in here for mm -hmm. us. Especially, we have lots of just homemade lights. Well, not homemade, but they're just... Just like floor bendable lamps with, lights, yeah. yeah. Floor lamps with bendable Arnie's. arms and... She looks so good. Oh, and I've been neglecting chat, okay. <laughs> well, I like it when you watch. Um, let's see here. Oh, Gravy says, thank you for the info. Hearts, thanks so much. Oh, good. Yeah. Hopefully it helps a little bit. We uh -huh. just jumped in and used the iPhone. Yeah. And on, I mean, geez, that's, with today, I feel like there's, it probably mattered more. It definitely mattered more, like, in the beginning of YouTube, just because an iPhone was, like, two pixels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's probably. like filming on a potato if you filmed on even it was an iPhone even I think I've watched YouTubers that like got the very first iPhone so like that's probably even pre iPhone but like cameras and phones are so much closer to each other now that Oops, I, I think you totally get away with a phone well yeah it depends on what your channel is about yeah I think in this situation I mean, of course, nicer quality would be great. Oh, of course. But I don't see it in, is it much different than if when I used to teach at my house and people showed up and were at the dining room table mm -hmm. doing watercolor paintings. You know? mm -hmm. Lighting wasn't perfect in there. Oh, that needs to be lighter here. Right? So I see stuff when I... Okay, where was it? Can you mull zoom over out. it? Right here. Marty said, I'm glad Emily talked you into doing videos. <laughs> the very first video was a chalk video on the driveway. Yeah. Because um, I was doing that during the pandemic. And I was filming the intro before she came over. And I'm like, no. So I started, you know, film, you know, say something. I, it was just like selfie mode. I'm holding my arm out, mm -hmm. looking at myself, forgetting to look in the camera, looking at myself talking. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know. I like did it three or four times. And then from that moment on, I'm like, we're going to be one take and done. If I make mistakes, you know, if I don't, it's just, if I drop things, you know, I'm like, I'm not going to retake everything because it'll take forever. 
but actually, I kind of like it because I feel like, well, I'm a real person. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not polished. Mm-hmm. But also, just like I'm, it just would be too much time. Mm-hmm. You know, take take four or whatever. You know, you, you see in some of the movies, like no. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely obvi- there's obviously like there's YouTube channels that. Oh, some of them are so cool. Are literally like production companies. They have production. They've started out small and just them and have built production companies basically but um i think that's my like i think that's the allure of youtube is you feel more like a real person than you're on a tv show and it's you know yeah you have 50 takes to cut between and yeah i don't know it feels more personal well, and then I laugh because I laugh at my mistakes. Mm-hmm. So I think I laugh at every video because I certainly make <laughs> a mistake in every video. But, oh, it was I was just nervous. I didn't want to be on camera. Mm-hmm. I wasn't nervous to paint on camera. But I was nervous that I was going to, I still am, that I'm going to hurt somebody's feelings and say something dumb. Mm-hmm. And, or just say it because I'm 59 and my generation said things that you shouldn't say anymore. You know, I, I worry about that. It's like, oh, I don't, I really don't want to. And every once in a while I'll say something, both my kids just look at me. (laughs) And I'm like, oh, you know, it's not okay, but I'm trying to break that habit or whatever, you know, whatever it is I said. That's my biggest fear with YouTube. So I keep rubbing because I'm just not totally sure yet. Yeah, I like I like that you, you put the like definite hairs in and then you're like squeak squeak squeak. <laughs> delete delete delete. Smooth out smooth out smooth out. Well, and so I just kind of sneak up on it. Plus, when I'm talking, I'll do that more. Cause I'm not. With a pet portrait, I don't talk. Usually. There we go. I think that's what I want to do. I want to soften that. Hmm. Gravy says there's an interesting fact about um, dark skin in film photos getting better due to wood paneling being in style in so many homes. Yeah, I guess you would have to learn to adapt to. Oh, yeah. Hmm, I did not know. Yeah, we have crappy. Well, I bought I bought lights. Um, we don't can't use them, but I have two what would you call them? Tube lights? Like LED, over the easel. yeah. And I have one over here. Honestly, they kind of look like... Um, you can't see it. But they help a little, too. Yeah, they look like the... I mean, they're plastic and, like, bendable arm versions, but they're, like, that straight bar light that some people, like, a sconce that people put over a piece of art to spotlight it. It's like oh, that. Oh, it kind of is like that. Mm-hmm. I could pick up the phone again if anybody wants to see it. Suzanne says, you shouldn't worry about anything. You're doing an awesome job. Clapping, oh, clapping, thank you, emoji. Thank you. No, I worry about hurting people's feelings. You're a worry wart. I'm, I, I, I don't know when that, I couldn't have been as a kid. Oh, I don't know. I can't remember even entertaining adults as a kid. I've been like a hostess. <laughs> You're the hostess. You know what? I want to make sure everybody's happy. They have a yeah. drink. They're comfortable. They're not too hot. They're like, oh, in the my car. slippers. Yeah, you yeah. get in the car. Oh, you adjust the temperature. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Do you need to charge your phone? Yeah. This, you can have, do you want me to give you this? No, I'm fine. It's like over-momming. <laughs> but I do that to adults. I do it to everybody. I do that. I do that to I do that to Chase all the time. Well, you can't. I feel bad, but you learned it from me. And yeah. Where I just like, I narrate how to do everything every single time, and it's, you don't need to do that. It's going to be finger painted for a while here. Oh, and it's lifting up, so I need to let it dry. Marty says, I second Suzanne. Oh, I might have hit my phone there. Sorry, guys. Well, thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it's so funny. I wasn't in two, in two or three years ago when we started it. Yeah. My paintings weren't as good as they are now, and that still didn't bother me. Like, my art wasn't good mm-hmm. enough. <laughs> I mean, you know, it was the... Yeah, say it's just the talking. Say and something the... that's not socially acceptable. I can't say the word now. Is my was my thing. Especially after that very first video, I'm like, okay, we're not taking, th- we're not doing takes. Yeah. Oh, t- well, and t- I feel like 
I mean, some people can, obviously people can do takes and be fine, but I, I just feel like I progressively get worse. <laughs> yeah, I think I do too. Well, I don't know, but I just like, it's just, yeah, you know. Just make more mess ups because you're thinking about all the previous takes or whatever. But, well, and if we're doing this, I don't have time for, I mean, I, I could, but I just really don't want to take the time um, away from painting, away from, mm -hmm. you know, getting stuff ready for the gallery, getting stuff ready for my agent. I just didn't want to add too much to my plate. So that was one way to... It looks hazy outside. Oh, it's smoky. Well, it's been, it was really, really, was that the worst the other day? It was Yesterday, yeah. I think. There was yeah. a lot of smoke from Canada. Oh, it's Suzanne, our resident Canadian. Yeah. How's Canada doing? I, I, yeah, because I've noticed, like, we got the chillier wind, and, like, mm -hmm. haze came with it. Like, last night when was Chase was grilling, I was like, oh, my gosh. I thought we were going to get a storm, but then I realized it was just, like, haze. Yeah. It looked weird last night when I got in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it kind of had a yellow glow to the mm -hmm. moonlight. Or, I, it was weird looking. So, yeah, you don't have to paint wet on wet everywhere. So I'm just kind of blending in, having it make a little more sense. I think it's too blue right there. What I need to do, here, I'm going to look through my iPhone. Oh, I can't really see it. <laughs> yeah. It's the, a little, it needs a little love there. It needs a little love all over. The little claw hand is like right where you need to look yeah. on the phone. That's okay. Oh, I could, um, I could pop in the chat. It's too blue right here. Let's bring that up a little bit as she mixes it in kind of the yucky blue. So value is more important than the color. I'm just thinking about brush stroke direction. And if I don't get it just right, we're okay on the body. Unless you get it really crazy off. But mm -hmm. um, everybody focuses on the eyes and the, mm -hmm. the nose. I heard your air kick on. Yeah. I don't, it's supposed to be fairly warm today. I don't know how warm. It's like when I got here in my watch, it's at 75 right now, well, but it's like still nice. got the cool fall air, air ish. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like fall air. It's very um, San Francisco. That was basically this oh. weather is like low 70s, upper 60s. And then so like the sun's out so you can exist in t-shirt and shorts. But um like, I was finding jeans and a jacket. Emily and Chase went to San Francisco. I got this bracelet uh, for Chinatown, <laughs> right, mm -hmm. Em? Yep. And I got this ring. I have another bracelet. I got the, the reddish ring. I babysat um, Emily's two cats for about a week. Not quite yeah. a week. I mean, kind of, because it was, we left. Like, Saturday to Friday? 6 a.m. Our flight left at 6 a.m. Saturday, and we got home midnight on technically Saturday. You know? Oh, yeah. We got home at 1 a.m. Our flight landed at midnight. <gasps> so I got to hang out with the kitties. And I got to see fun photos of just like it looks like in movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and then we watched Mrs. Doubtfire because that's in San Francisco. And it was like, <laughs> I, I, was like, I, like I know place. that. We walked there. That was fun. Mm-hmm. That's scaring me that it's too light. I need to stop it because it's been too dark. <laughs> And I don't know how many times I've done this. Uh, Gravy says, yeah, it was a bit of a challenge to walk outside here where I am due to the smoke. Yeah, it was, I, we got we got alerts. Yeah. Like yesterday, two days ago? Two days ago, I think. Oh, and Suzanne says there's a lot of fires with no rain. Oh. Mm. I assume she's safe since she's here with us. Mm -hmm. That's just terrible. They've had so many fires. The firefighters, oh, and, um... I bet. And the firefighters can't get ahead. Yeah, that's so, ugh. Oops. My paints are drying bad. I just stuck my knife in a little bit of water and cut a little bit of water into it. It works, but it also, water evaporates faster than, like, a medium. So it, it can also work against you. Kind of spray them. 
I love this. It's a, some sort of face spray that Emily gave me the bottle for. I it's love a, it. It's a makeup setting spray. You know, if we ever have like a, we have merch under the, you know, t-shirts and stickers. And stuff. <laughs> yeah. But really, if we ever do sort of a product, it'd be a super be a fine spray mist bottle. sprayer. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if anybody'd buy it. But. That, that's so funny. Yeah. Oh gosh, I really need to. I'm probably gonna have to put out new paints in a day or so before I finish this pet portrait. Just the way it goes. And I feel like I'm not making much progress because I'm a little bit obsessed about. It dries darker on me. Oop, not the color I wanted. Let's do it again. That's the downside of painting with such thin layers. Um, you may have to do it several times. Oops, and I don't like that. I was trying to rush it. Let's do this. Gravy asks, did your 911 system go down the other day? Yes. Went out a while. It went out while in the hospital in a different county and got the text. Then got home in this county, lost the 911 system. Yes, it did. I didn't get the notification, but. My phone screamed yeah, at me. Yeah, like, Chase's oh. mom said it scared the crap it out did. of her. And it said, you know, I saw a notice from one of the TV stations on my phone that just said if, you know, you need to call 911, call this number. Because mm -hmm. it's down, and then all of a sudden my phone just. Yeah, it was like a full, like, you know, dial this full number type thing. It was so weird. Oh. Yeah, I saw the, um, I was looking on, I was looking online and I saw a lot of people posting about it. it scared me. Mm -hmm. oh, whoa, that's way too dark. Whoa. <laughs> Gravy says, yep, yep, had a pucker moment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, it does what it's supposed to do, but I'm just like, oh. Mm-hmm. Gets like that Amber Alert, emergency warning, whatever siren yeah, sound. Love it. I still don't like that. And then I did see when I, we were out to like late dinner with Chase's parents and on the news again, I did see like, um, breaking news, these counties, 911s are now out. I don't even know, like, I never looked into it much because we weren't home, but like, I wonder what, like, how does that go down? I wonder what happened. I don't know. Because it wasn't like, you know, phone lines are entirely down and you can't get through. It was like something was up probably with the connection of the shorthand 911 to the full, like, Here's the office number. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to move up here. And it was out for 19 hours. Oh, really? Yeah. Look at that, Em. I'm taking control. You do it, girlfriend. And it doesn't do... Yeah, we're... we're um... There's another YouTuber I watch, and she goes, we're professionals here. And when she... <laughs> Things aren't professional. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we're professionals here. Uh, at the Downtown Gallery, the Artist Cooperative Gallery in downtown Omaha, Nebraska, that comment of we are professionals here made me think. So I juried, the, right now the small gallery has UNO art students in it. And it's just so fun because they bring in the art over a couple days and I happen to work one of those days. Um, and so it's fun to meet them, fun to talk with them. Um, and then one of them was asking me, like, you know, how much is it to join the gallery and, you know, stuff like that. And... And then she's like, well, what does it take to be a professional artist? And I'm like, well, have you sold a painting for money? She's like, yep. I'm like, you're a professional artist. And she just got flabbergasted. Oh. But I think she also liked it. It threw her. Mm -hmm. But she's like, oh, you know. Yeah, you already did the thing. You, you did the thing. You did step one, you did step two, and you did step three. You know, and it's, you know, somebody might not like your art. Well, and I was talking to one of the artists that are members at the gallery. Mm -hmm. And he entered an abstract show, and they shot him down, and then the painting sold for a bunch of money. Mm. You know, so it doesn't mean the painting isn't any good just because he didn't get into this yeah. prestigious abstract show. Mm -hmm. It just means whoever was judging didn't like it. <laughs> you know, that's all it means. Or it just, you know, there were four more that they liked a little better. Mm -hmm. yeah, not that they didn't like it, but oh, it was so funny. I'm like, you're a professional artist. And she's, she's like, no. And I'm like... Again, did you sell it for money? <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. <laughs> it was fun. She's going to be, I bet she thought about that all the way to wherever her next stop was. Like, am I? Yup. Mm -hmm. 
And then I went, I went Friday night for the first Friday opening, which that video already posted on Tuesday, didn't it? So I got to see some of the same students again. That was fun. Mm. And I think I mentioned in the video I ended up working because it was busy. They had three artists, two, three 2D artists in the show area. Yeah. Um, and then they were people were buying things, which was great. Downtown was busy. So I put a little brown in my unbleached titanium and it's still looking yellow. Isn't that funny? It's the blue. And it might not be light enough. I'm going to put that here. I'm using a quarter inch flat. That might be a good shade color right there. And then maybe, oh, it kind of gets a little darker down in here. That looks so good. It's coming. I, you know, this needs more work, but it's coming mm -hmm. along. It looks just like her. Oh, good. I'm glad you're happy. If you're not, I'll do my best to, okay. to fix. I'm trying, sure what I want to do there. I think I kind of want a little. I guess you kind of do have to make me happy because I do know where you live. I know it, and I want you to come back to help me with the lives. That was a unveiled, slightly veiled. I don't know what the exact definition of a veiled threat would be, but. Oh, I think that's pretty out in the open. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I know where you live, and I have a key to your home. <gasps> you do. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm pe like not much changes on video when it I swipe does. like that. It does or doesn't? It does change on video. Oh, does it? Mm -hmm. For sure. So this is straight up unbleached. Mm. Gravy says, gotta go. TTYL hugs. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for hanging. It's fun to chat with you. Thanks for keeping up. I noticed, like, way early. I think, that yeah, the first thing Gravy says in the chat is, hit the share button. Let's get some more eyes here. Happy art hugs to everyone. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Gravy. Thank you for looking out for us. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't ever say that during... I don't say, I did in the early days, but I don't say it much. Like, I just mm -hmm. thank people at the end for all their support. Mm -hmm. Thank you for taking care of us. He's probably gone. <laughs> yeah, already been gone for minutes. Who knows? <laughs> so I'm mixing a little white into my, so the brown, I mentioned this, but just to say it again, in case you're just joining us, take the raw sienna and a little bit of black, and I got that brown, more black, and I get this darker brown. Now where was I going to go with it? I don't remember. Let's put it here. I don't walk and talk very well. All right, I need to think about what does it do? I think this color's it's not quite right, but I think it'll be good for a first go through because it's different. And then I can come back with white. I can come back with little black bits. Mm hmm to kind of um, make it look a little more real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, it is kind of funny. Like, um, I think if you're if you do the if you have darker spots and then you go over it, you know, like I wouldn't worry about it because her skin skin is like very pinky purpley undertoned. Hmm. Like, so if you, it's kind of like. Um, I don't really see that in the... Maya. Like, when you move Maya's hair, you see, like, the color change, like, her the base of her fur, even though if it's a brown strand at the end, it's, like, usually a black at the tip because she's a tabby or whatever. It's kind of like that. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. I think I do. Yeah. Like, she's very, um... Honestly, like, those pigs that are, like, kind of purpley, pinky colored. <laughs> That's kind of her <laughs> skin color. Uh, so I put a little white on my brush... I'm just kind of a little. So I like using the bigger brush. It goes quicker, but this keeps me from doing too big of brush strokes because her mm -hmm. fur is really short. Yeah, she's got short little hairs. Just a bunch of short little. Mm -hmm. And then you can almost take a deer's foot stippler to get some of that speckling. Oh, true. You could. Cute. That'd be fun. You could. Oh, and I'm hunching bad because I'm like, I don't need to. For some reason, I think I need to have my head next to my phone. Like I'm talking to you or hugging you. Like I'm hugging you guys. 
They're sitting on your shoulder. Yeah, that's kind of funny. I don't really need to. Actually, if I stand up straight, I have a better angle. Or sit up straight. <laughs> I'm laughing. It's hard to talk and paint. Mm -hmm. I'm getting better at it. No. I'm just going to fill that in and see what I think. It it's drying so good. darker on me, but that's okay. I rewound my, my laptop to um, like the very, very beginning. It looks so good. Oh, good. Well, the video will smooth here. Maybe we need to do a little. That fur shelf is so it. <laughs> Emily likes that. It just looks so right. Well, sometimes you get it right, and then sometimes you work this area a lot. Then you're good at your job. Oh, thank you. I get better and better. I need more paint over here. Mm -hmm. But mostly I just kind of wanted to carry it over so when I paint it later, it's more unified. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's. I'm looking a little bit on my phone. I can't see it real well with the video arm, but mm -hmm. yeah, it looks better. Yeah. Oh, here, I was going to show you. I see it more like that. And I go, oh, I don't like it. But yeah, when you get back, even this is decent. It needs, a, it's a little flat. No, it's a lot flat. We could use some highlight, a little high, low light up here. Mm -hmm. And even maybe a little, it just needs a little more work. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't, did I tell you that the vet said that both the girls' teeth look good? Oh, <gasps> good. I was a little worried about Maya because the, we switched vets from last year. And last, we switched because the, Mine had like two lesions or something, so she had to get those teeth pulled. Oh, right, it was expensive. Yeah, so we went to the vet we're with now. So this is like their first technical like year checkup. Um, so I was worried that, because the previous vet had said like, oh yeah, you'll probably come back next year and need to get more pulled. And I'm like, what? She's going to be like a toothless little baby and she likes dry food. That is her favorite. I guess she's used to just swallowing in a hole anyway, so that probably wouldn't, she'd probably still eat it, even if she didn't have any teeth. But um, she said that both of their teeth look great oh, to keep good. doing what we're doing. And I was like, okay, well, so I should just keep, keep letting Mango chew on my cords at night before I wake up and catch her. <laughs> good. You know, sometimes it ran, I, don't, I think it ran through my head before. Like, it kind of reminded me of when we went to the one dentist and you and I had cavities when we never get them. Mm -hmm. And we go to the new dentist and we stop getting cavities. I mean... I don't know, but that ran through my head with that vet. Like, do they just... It, yeah. This is not nice, but make money pulling teeth, you know? Oh, maybe. Well, I, well no, but I took not them to nice the new vet me. to pull it, and they agreed. You know, like, they pulled them. Oh, okay, you so know? she needed them. Yeah. yeah. And they and I saw it with the lesions or whatever. They looked like little canker sores on her teeth or gums. Um, but what was I going to say? I don't know, because I sidetracked you. Like, the only thing that I think was different was... um. But that's detail work. I don't even know if the, because our previous vet, like, retired and no longer worked at the practice, so it was a different vet. Yeah, that's always hard. Um, and uh, they didn't, like, the vet that we share now, or whatever, um, she didn't, like, squish the girls' innards or whatever, because, like, the two times, <laughs> this is so confusing. <laughs> The vet we initially started with, he would like squish and feel if they've literally gone potty for them, and he could tell if they've gone potty that morning. That's kind of annoying. So, it, she doesn't squish them as much, but I mean, she no, said she their doesn't. teeth look good, and I don't think you need to know if they need to go potty. I know, <laughs> but I was because I haven't done it in a while. I was gonna bring a poop sample, but Maya is too smart for her own good, and she. Like, Chase tried to lure them in the bathroom this morning with treats. Mm -hmm. And Mango um, just, like, trots in there. La, 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 la. This is totally normal. <laughs> and Maya's sitting right outside of the bathroom. Like, looking very, like, her head's tilting like she does at the frogs. Mm -hmm. The going, paper uh -huh. frogs you give her. Yeah. And she's th you see her little wheels turn in. And she's not going. And she's not trusting it. Her tail's thinking. And uh, so we just shut Mango in the bathroom and then had to chase Maya around the house a little bit. She literally, I mean, and she fights. Not like fights physically, but like she 
she splays her legs out and nose oh, to like yep. keep them out and wide, and then Dad can't shove her in the kennel uh, or in the carrier. And so, but Chase wasn't expecting that because she hasn't done that before. Usually, we're able to just scoop, plop. As long as we tilt it up, she plops well. But she's getting, she's remembering at least. Oh, they know. And um, she kind of used it as like a launching pad and tried to jump in the air. But Chase literally caught her like mid air, and I think it caught her off guard just enough that we were able to get her in the gun in the carrier. Oh, that sounds like front my cat freckles. And then Mang was just like. She just goes in. Like she doesn't go in. You still have to make her go in. But like but she's just so she's so much more teddy bearish. What, yeah, just like the, literally the, the struggle was just like making sure that her tail went in because it's so fluffy and puffy. Yeah, like you shut it. Yeah, in. Yeah, that was it. And she didn't she didn't fight Chase at all. And she's just like I don't want to do this, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight my way. Yeah. But once we got Maya upstairs, she's just crying and crying and it's literally like she's like yelling mango get out while you can (laughs) she's they're coming for you next because then mango starts crying back i need to kind of blend that in a bit yeah looks good though it looks so good it's getting there i love it it's getting there looks just like baby you've got eight minutes left you do So I'm, I'm using just white with the darker brown. I think I mentioned that before. Mm-hmm. Just kind of scrubbing on. And then the blue is showing through. Ooh. But that's okay. You can leave that or you can cover it. Oh, my gosh. Look, that eye looks that's better. That's a juicy close-up. The eyes look better on video than they do in person, just so you know. It looks better through my phone than it does in person. That's a juicy close-up. Oh, we need little like little highlights in the eye. Mm-hmm. I didn't put them on because um, she doesn't have white whites in her white highlights in her eyes, but I'm gonna put them in. And if I don't like them, I can take mm. them out. So I put in blue where the highlights are. So there, if I touch my finger, it does weird things in that shape. I think her in betweens is like a good. Her in betweens. Like her in between her eyeballs. Oops. Oops. Um. Because in real life, it's pretty blondy there, but her hair's thin-ish, you know? So, like, I think that's her, like, skin color showing through. Go with whatever it is. But, like, that's what I mean by, like, she's got, like, weird pinky dark oh. skin. Uh-huh. Okay. Underneath her It's so, like, I mean, you should leave it. We'll see. Yeah, whatever you want. Whatever you want. All right, let's put a little... See if we like it. So... I'm hard on my little brushes. Where are you, where are you guys? I don't know if you can. My skin's red. Here. My arm's not as red. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there. It, they, it just, they don't last very long and I'm hard on them. But sometimes if you get them wet and then you roll it in the paint, you can get a pretty good point. So we'll see here. Oh, I can hear the cicadas. Mm-hmm. I was just thinking that. I can hear them too. So, I'm saying the light's coming. Here, we'll use Emily's original before we did the stickers and the merch. It's smaller. Uh, maybe I'll just put it... <laughs> ah, it's kind of sweet. That should help. Yeah, I like the eyes on through my phone. I'm like, ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't mind them. Maybe I need to paint the whole thing thin. Not a. You kind of learn as you go. Oh, I like the little whites in there. I have a video. I don't. I didn't link it in this video's description, but it's a great big dog eye. Which then you can see how I build it better. These eyes are kind of small. And the other thing, too, is if, like, I couldn't totally see where, well, you can. So if the light's coming from up over here, let's see if I can get it in frame. The highlight's up here, then the color is there. And you can see it's lighter there. Usually the color is opposite the highlight if you don't know what to do. And you can't really see it. 
It's a good rule of thumb. I'm sure you can find exceptions to that rule. Probably the best tip of the night and we're almost done. <laughs> we're not done with the portrait, but done for the evening. Yeah, it does look kind of good. Yeah, I'm trying to overfur it on her body. Mm. Her neck hair is kind of, maybe it's just because that, like, she's got extra skin there that it, I feel like it's, like, feels longer and it roll like, it moves more. I don't think it, it looks too long. Oh, okay. You're talking about in real life. But yeah, I don't think it looks too long. Yeah, I don't know. I just need to keep going. I rather like this. I rather like it thin with the blue coming through. That's something I don't do very often. I probably should do more as I cover up some of the blue. <laughs> oh, I need to, I was going to fix up there. I totally forgot about it for some reason. There's a, like a little, it's just like putting a puzzle together. A little bit here, a little bit there. Ooh, too dark. I'm just going to spread it out and then I can cover it too if I need to. It might be kind of cute to leave it darker even though it isn't in the reference photo. One thing nice about it, I painted the background at least the day before I did the traceable. Then the traceable washes off better when your background's drier. It doesn't soak into that. Or it um, dissolves into the paint. That's also nice. Sometimes I rush it and it doesn't work. But Or sometimes I use such a dark, like a dark black and it stains. I kind of like that. I'm over emphasizing that. I don't, Emily, it's not cut up yet, so Emily can't see it. Over emphasizing? The marking colors on the, just that you can just see the top of this ear. And I'm gonna, oh, didn't do a darn thing. I'm gonna put. Mm -hmm. Really cool. <laughs> it won't, there we go. Totally I'm like, I want a little cute. hair. I'm going to grab just a little bit of white. It's so sweet. <laughs> this is Emily's favorite dog. I'm going to make you cry. <laughs> yeah, I, um, so if anybody has an Apple Watch, you can, I mean, they have like preset faces, but you can also just do photos. So I have, I've, I did little doodles of like, of uh, Maya and Mango separately both of Chase's and my cats, and then the only other animal, like, Freckle is literally my childhood cat, and I don't even have Freckle on here. I have That's Bailey. That's why she likes me better. <laughs> yeah, I have Bailey on my watch photos, so it just filters through, like, a bunch of backgrounds or whatever. Yeah. So every once in a while, I look down, and either Maya, Mango, or Bailey are on my watch. So there's a little highlight shape there that I might be overemphasizing, but... Yeah. Really, we could... I think I might like it. I think. I put a little too much paint on my brush. That might be too much. Right now it scares me. Mm. Well, it's cute. There's like a little, this is going to be too light, but I'm going to put it in so I don't forget it when I'm thinking about it. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. There's a light spot mm -hmm, above her mm -hmm. beauty mark. Yeah, yeah it's just way too um, light, but I think it'll dry down too. Above her eyebrows, but that also kind of like she does have like a, you know, the top of her like eyebrow bone. Is like think that what that highlight is? Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, that's definitely there. Yeah, the body just needs a little help. A little something. So cute. Another layer of paint or something. Yeah, another layer of paint. Another something, something. I've got pink here, and I've been avoiding that area. <laughs> but we also only have like a minute left or 30 seconds left. That's going to be too bright. Let's do this. I haven't really been calling out my brushes. It's just a quarter inch. Oh, that's too dark. Let's get this in. Maybe it's not. Dang, I hear a loud cricket though. That's a cicada. 
You think? Mm-hmm. Outside. But I think I also hear a cricket. No, I don't. I don't hear it anymore. <laughs> I fully took my headphones off and I don't hear it. So I can call it quits for tonight, you guys. Oh, I could um, open. Well, I don't want to open the check. So, so my head goes back and forth a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot. And then sometimes I do things and I, I just like, uh And she's got like little, might be too soon to put them in. And it's not showing very well. Little sparkles of you know, bits of white that kind of pop. Yeah, I should call out, like you look at the, looked at the photo. Oh God, my neck Looked is at the sore. Photo. <laughs> so we've been doing this an hour and a half. I would go get some tea, pop, whatever, because yeah. my neck is you sore. You looked from at going, the photo. Going back and forth. And yeah, I'm, you do. You do very like. It's probably every. Oh, a lot. Every second, every second and a half, two seconds, kind of thing. I do a lot. Like, what's the shape do? Mm -hmm. What's it turning? Which which direction is the fur? Mm -hmm. Okay, she's got to, oh, let's put a little mole here so I don't forget it. I'm going to make it too dark, but then I'll just paint over it. All right, I think we'll call it quits there unless okay. people want me to go longer or want to chat or have questions. Mm -hmm. my, well, paint, wait. my paint is really drying Tacky. out. Yeah, I'm going to have to put out new paint, I think. Oops. It looks so good. Good. Uh, yeah, the little, like the dramatic highlights can be really fun. So I'm, I'm trying to keep that on this. So it's not, also so it's not exactly like the photo. Mm -hmm. Not that it would be. I'm not that much of a realist. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm sure that you're going to show Bailey's parents the reference photo. Maybe. Oh, usually it's kind of fun for them. Yeah. You don't have to. Well, you know what? I'm going to direct them to... Any tro at at any tro on YouTube, and then they can watch Bailey. They can watch it being put together in real time. They can watch the full video. Oh, she looks so stinking cute. Yeah, I'm just cutting water into the paint, She's... waiting to see if there's goodbyes or questions. I or... haven't seen anything pop through yet. Okay. Okay. We do have 15 friends with us still. Hey, friends! They're besties. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put another plate on. I'm really... I hear that. Wow. But sometimes, like, I cut water into it, and then I really missed it. And then I put another plate on top. So it's kind of like a terrarium, and then I stick it in a gallon baggie. Sometimes mm -hmm. it, it, the paint's just had enough, and I need to put it fresh. And sometimes it kind of wakes it up. Mm-hmm. That's a good mister. I'm I just saying. I love that mister. And it's cheap. Well, good. You're about to have another one, too. <laughs> I like them. I'll use it on my other easel. And I think I'm going to buy another easel. So if I do this... Nope. Does it stay? Nope. No, too low. You're going to have to hold them. <laughs> but how are you going to do the art? I'll have to just go like okay. that. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out with us tonight. I love it when you come to work with me. I hope some of this helped. I hope the fact that I'm slow and putsy takes a little pressure off. Mm -hmm. If you try something like this and to keep going, sometimes it just works and sometimes it just needs a little more help. Mm -hmm. um, better say thank you for your support. Super appreciate your support. Great big happy art hugs. This is already the art hugs. And I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.